Hey everyone, Andy, uh, your course facilitator. This is step six, and the idea behind this one is digitize yourself. Now, I've been teaching this course for quite some time, and I think it really kind of hit home what this step was all about and how important this step uh, became uh, due to the COVID uh, pandemic because teachers really needed to digitize themselves to uh, you know, engage with their students by remote learning. So this step uh, seemed seems to get bigger as, as we work through uh, the challenges of COVID. And essentially what this step is designed from its get-go was how can we make engaging learning experiences through digital means? So how can we take those experiences that we did for so long traditionally and how can we uh, make them technology so even when we don't have a classroom virtual in, in, in real time in real space we can do it remotely so these resources are there so i put this online toolkit for teachers which was created uh, from uh, the various boces from around the state and locally uh, that has a whole bunch of resources it looks something like um, this so that gives you all kinds of, if you follow the tabs over here, there's all kinds of different uh, resources for the different platforms that schools may be using. So those are all uh, videos there. Um, and then I've got some image sites that you can help uh, create images. I've also got a free PDF editor where you can uh, use PDFs and students can interact. Uh, Kahoot is a learning type game that you could use uh, for remote learning to change the kind of uh, you know, quizzes and uh, fun games together uh, to make some really fun games. If you haven't seen Kahoot, it's very popular. Uh, Actively Learn is a way to take, uh, say, websites and PDFs and have your students uh, interact uh, with the PDF. Uh, so what can happen with this site is say you can put a PDF online and then your students can actually highlight things, make comments within a document. So it's almost like a shared reading experience document. So again, teachers can create a freemium account. Of course, there are other plans uh, that can be, um, that need to be, can be explored as well if you want to uh, look deeper into that. But that's actively learn, and that provides uh, again a way for teachers to uh, put things like um, PDFs and resources, and everyone can kind of uh, interact with the resources, learn from the resources, but then um, communicate within uh, the resources. So a great one there. Uh, Wiser.me. It's been a while since I've looked at this one. This again is a way to uh, interact with uh, traditional means. So they, these are worksheets that you can find, but then it allows uh, students to uh, interact with the worksheet online. So you can create your own workshop worksheet and uh, go from there. So you can actually find uh, other created worksheets as well. So again, it's a nice way to create almost like an online platform. Again, freemium and uh, there's school platform, uh, school pricing as well. So that's wiser.me. Uh, this is just an article about sharing with Creative Commons and how you can do that uh, appropriately and making sure you're following uh, copyright information. Control Alt Achieve, I've mentioned before. Uh, Eric Kurtz offers tons of great ideas for digitizing yourself. And then uh, again, there's a variety of other things. Quizzes is another kind of quizzing uh, online. The same with Jimkit. I've heard really positive things about that. Um, and then uh, we round it out with Edgy, which is another one where students can, you can put passages online and students can interact with the passages. Uh, so that's another one, Edgy. And uh, again, New Visions has created an entire curriculum uh, that you can kind of see the whole concept of what digital learning looks like. So feel free to check out what New Visions did. They created um, really an entire uh, curriculum platform, questions, videos, all together in a one-stop shop. Uh, so that uh, should you need to go virtual, this is the way to do it. So the idea behind this one is really, um, you know, dig into these, try some of these out. Again, I would definitely recommend checking out Actively Learn. Uh, maybe check out uh, any of the quiz ones from quizzes to Kahoot to Jim Kit. And uh, also maybe check out what uh, 
edgy offers and uh, new visions to kind of see what it's like to truly digitize uh, yourself. And again, for the administrators, you know, digitizing yourself also means digitizing your uh, meetings, digitizing, um, you know, meeting notes, digitizing, um, you know, you could use some of these tools to, uh, first of all, make your staff and faculty meetings a little more engaging, but also you could make them interactive so everyone can interact with, uh, you know, your meeting notes and that sort of thing. So hope this was helpful and uh, talk to you soon.